Hi everybody and welcome to Arfan High Level Tutorial. We will see how to use inverse kinematic with pibulet from URDF file. So first you need to import Arfan High Level, rename it HL for simplicity. Then you import pibulet and rename it PB for simplicity too. You initialize and create a window of 1024 by 1024 pixels. You add an FPS camera, which you put a bit on the side, a bit up and a bit behind to see the entire scene. Then you connect our physics simulation to our current thread. You load the URDF file and you get the body ID. So pb load URDF file. Our file is in 3D model and it's called two joint robots. We get the new joint the number of joints from the robot to draw it later. Get new joint and you give it the body ID. Then you create the game loop to update and draw the scene. We will draw our robot as cross and line. So for line we need the previous position and we iterate through all the joints. We get the link state from bullet, which is the entire state of this joint, to get the position. So pb get link state for the body ID for this joint. We need to convert to Arfan vector free. So the position in, in, is in link state first position and it's an XYZ array. Then you draw a cross at this position. P, we will color it in red and a bit smaller to see everything. Then if we want a line between, so if press is not none, we draw a line between the two positions. P, prev. And we save prev for the next iteration. So Everything is all right. We need to add V because it's a vector and not an entire line of float. And that's it. This is our robot. So this is our three point and two join. You need to tell physics you need a fixed based robot. We don't want it to move at the start. And now you need to add a target for our I key to follow. So we will just make a circular animation. So we'll create a vect free with cosinus time time, just a moving cosinus. And we'll put on X and Y. So a bit up. Time. And nothing on Z. And we will need to see it. So draw cross V, the vec target. And we'll color it in purple to differentiate from the joint color. So let's see our target. Yes, you need to import cosinus and time in the project. So from mass. Import cosinus sinus and import time. This is our target. This is our fixed base and we need this join to stick to the target. It's a number five in the uh, URDF file. So now our I key. So you need to convert the vec target to a target for pibulet. So pibulet need only an array of position. So x, y, and z. And you need to get the position computed for this inverse kinematic. 
So you need the body ID. It's a number five, which is the end uh, joint. And you give the target you want. And now you need to force the robot inside Pibulet to be on this joint path. So you iterate through for all join. You get the join info from the robot for this join because there is a difference between internal indexed and joined. Get join info for this body ID and J. After you need a Q index, which is an index inside the joint motor control, it's in the third position in joint info. If the Q index is not negative, it exists. So you force the motor control. So body ID, body index equal body ID, join index is J, control mod It's position control and target position equal joint pos Q index minus seven. You need to tell physics to do a step simulation to compute everything and update the robot. So we have the draw of the robot, we have our I key computed, and we have a force a joint motor position here. Let's see in movement. And that's it. You know how to use inverse kinematic with Pibulet from URDF file. See you soon with new tutorial.